let's say we have a galaxy really far away. Okay. Do you want? Would you like to draw a galaxy? I would love to draw a galaxy. Everyone loves to draw galaxies. Let's make it green. How do you draw galaxies? Well, you can draw the central bulge, and then I like to draw yeah. some pretty spiral arms. We should do an episode on uh, galactic structure sometime. Yeah. Okay, but not today. Mind. Not today. <laughs> I just there's a distant galaxy, and right. then we're down here on Earth. Okay. Really far away. There we are on Earth, having a good time. Looks like we're having a party. Actually, that looks kind of frowny. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine though. Anyway, and then in between us and the galaxy is a giant ball of stuff. Okay. Of stuff. I don't know what it's made of. Okay, so maybe it's like a galaxy cluster. Yeah, and like so, like a so like a thousand galaxies. A thousand all galaxies. Plus wow. gas, plus Clouds. dust, dark okay. matter, the whole dark deal. Dark matter. What? Okay. Right. Yeah. So, let's say a bit of light comes off this galaxy. Okay. And it's making its way. Let's say it just comes off and it's going this way. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you would expect, you would expect the light to just keep going like this, right? You might, yeah. You might, but you would be wrong. That's very true, yeah. So one thing to keep in mind is that matter actually bends space-time. Ah, so if we have this, this giant, is general relativity. This is general, yeah. What we're talking about. So if we have this giant clump of, say, galaxies or matter right here, it's actually going to bend the path that light takes. Ah, because like light is like stuck. To the fabric of space-time. If it bends, the light has to bend. So imagine that the fabric of space-time is a trampoline, say. Okay. And we've put all this weight in the middle of the trampoline. It's going to bend down. Light has to travel along the surface of this trampoline. So it, like Paul has just drawn, is going to follow this curving path. Uh, I so get instead it, I of get going it. out there, what we're actually going to see is light bending around. And, ah. conveniently enough... It can... Oh, so this is like a lens. It is exactly like a lens, ah. thanks to gravity. So it is a gravitational... Gravitational lens. I see where it's coming from. Yes. So we actually get to see this galaxy, even though it's behind this big massive clump of stuff, we actually get to see it, even though we wouldn't normally we do. get to. Thanks to gravitational lensing, oh, which is wow. what we use when we're looking at, like you mentioned, galaxies very far away. Um, because an interesting fact is that this process actually magnifies the galaxy. Oh. So it's really useful if we're trying to discover things about the far off universe. I see. So like this galaxy might be too far away to even see. Right. But because of this lensing, it magnifies like, like a magnifying right. lens. Right. So you might think it'd be a problem oh. to have all this stuff in the way, but really it causes an it's advantage. It's awesome. Yeah. It turns out it's awesome. But that image of the galaxy will be all distorted. So if this it is would, our, yes. our blob of stuff, whatever it is, the, the galaxy just does, doesn't look like a galaxy. We see like really distorted shapes like this, right? Right. And then it might be over here. And this will be the same image. It's the same galaxy. But depending on how this stuff is arranged in the big clump of stuff, we'll get different like lensing. We'll get different pictures of that same galaxy because the light is being bent in all sorts of weird ways. That's exactly right. Yeah. And an interesting uh, thing about this is that just like visible matter is bending light, like we mentioned here with our little question mark, dark matter would actually ah. have the same effects on because the path it's light still things. matter, it's still stuff. It's still matter, exactly. So that's one way we detect dark matter is studying the curves of light's path and not having any visible matter there and saying, okay, what's causing uh, this? Very cool, yeah. I see. And depending on how this is arranged, you can actually like map out where the dark matter right, is. Which you'll find more on in our dark matter video. Cool.